Hey everybody, got a new update for you today. Uh, very interesting. Five-dimensional black hole could break general relativity, says physicists. Uh, this article was sent to me by Tom Horn, so a special thanks goes out to him. I am recording from my office at Skywatch TV. If you haven't had a chance, go to skywatchtv.com and check out all the uh, the things that they have on there. There's a lot of videos, a lot of good articles, lots of different stuff, and even you can even go to Skywatch T uh, the the YouTube channel, youtube.com backslash uh, Skywatch TV underscore official, and make sure to subscribe. Um, you will not bore of the amazing content that's that's put out on, on a daily basis pretty much um, also if you care to you can subscribe to my youtube channel there's a little subscribe button in the lower right hand corner so go ahead and subscribe if you have not already so this article uh, is fascinating it's it's phenomenal if you if you want to check out the article itself you can uh, go to the link in the show description um, this is from sciencealert.com so if you thought regular black holes were about as weird and mysterious as space gets think again because for the first time physicists have successfully simulated what might happen uh, to black holes in a five-dimensional world and the way they behave could threaten our fundamental understanding of how the universe works the simulation has suggested that if our universe is made up of five or more dimensions something that scientists have struggled to confirm or disprove. Einstein's general theory of relativity, the foundation of modern physics, would be wrong. In other words, five-dimensional black holes would contain gravity so intense the laws of physics as we know them would fall apart. There's a lot to wrap your head around here, so let's start with the black holes themselves. In a five-dimensional universe, Physicists have hypothesized that black holes are more, uh, more like very thin rings rather than holes, and as they evolve, they can give rise to a series of bulges that become thinner and thinner over time, and eventually break off to form mini black holes elsewhere. These ring-shaped black holes, or black rings, were first proposed in 2002, but until now, no one's been able to successfully simulate their evolution. This has been made possible thanks to the Cosmos supercomputer at the University of Cambridge in the UK, the largest shared memory computer in Europe that can perform 38.6 trillion calculations per second. The problem with five-dimensional black holes is that they're thought to consist of ultra-gravity rings, where gravity is so intense it gives rise to a state known as a naked singularity. Naked singularity is an event so strange no one really knows what would occur except that the laws of general relativity would no longer apply. Einstein's general theory of relativity is based on how we think gravity governs the behavior of the universe. We know that matter in the universe warps the surrounding fabric of space-time, and this warping effect is what we refer to as gravity. Since it was first proposed 100 years ago, general relativity has passed every test. Everything we observe in the universe follows its stipulations, but singularity can pose some problems. In a four-dimensional universe, where the fourth dimension is time, Singularity is thought to be the point of a black hole where gravity is its most intense, the center, and this is surrounded by the event horizon at the black hole's edge. As long as singularities stay hidden behind an event horizon, they do not cause trouble and general relativity holds. The cosmic censorship conjecture says that this is always the case, says theoretical physicist Marcus Kunish from the University of Cambridge. As long as the cosmic censorship conjecture is valid, we can safely predict the future outside of black holes. But what if singularity could exist outside a black hole's event horizon? When physicists have uh, hypothesized that in five or more dimensions of an object that has collapsed to an infinite destiny, singularity, is not bound by an event horizon, it becomes naked singularity, and things 
would get so crazy in and around that object, we need to completely rethink our understanding of how physics works. The whole thing just makes me really nervous, which is a quote. Uh, if naked singularities exist, general relativity breaks down, said one of the team, uh, Saran. Oh, man. Tun, yes, Suv. If, if you want the last name, you can uh, go to the article because I'm going to butcher it. Uh, so to continue the quote, and if general relativity breaks down, it would throw everything upside down because it would no longer have any predictive power. It could no longer be considered as a standalone theory to explain the universe. If our universe has... Uh, four dimensions. Everything is cool and ring-shaped black holes and naked singularity are not a thing. But physicists have proposed that our universe could be made up, as, uh, made up of as many as 11 dimensions. The problem is that because humans can only perceive three, uh, the only way we can possibly confirm the existence of more dimensions is through high-energy experiments such as the Large Hadron Collider. Kanesh and his team say they've just about hit the limits of what their supercomputer can simulate, but would like to figure out what it is about four-dimensional universes that make naked singularity impossible and general relativity correct. If cosmic censorship doesn't hold in higher dimensions, then maybe we need to look at what's so special about a four-dimensional universe that means it does hold says the person with that last name that I'm not going to try to pronounce. <laughs> the study has been published in Physical Review Letters, and for more on those 11 dimensions, there is a video in this article by Michio Kaku that explains it a little bit more. Uh, basically, the idea of 11 dimensions is that we exist in three dimensions of space and one of time. So a lot of times physicists will say three plus one dimensions, or they might just say we live in four dimensions and confuse everybody. Um, a lot of times they don't differentiate between spatial and temporal. So as far as we know, as far as we can experience, there are three dimensions of space and one of time. But there are a lot of physics reasons <laughs> to believe there are more. Uh, M theory says that there are 11 dimensions of space time or, you know, space and time. So 10 of space, one of time. I, I think there might be as many as 12 if we count a foundational um Dimension. I don't know if it would be even considered a dimension. It's something that I've written about in my book Quantum Creation. I, I call it the, the zeroth dimension. I'm not. I'm not. I didn't come up with that. Um, there are other uh, science thinkers and people interested in physics who've who've come up up with that long before I have. But the basic idea is, if three dimensions um, is the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. Uh, then um, th 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 those are those are the three directions. Basically, each axis or each line, however you want to look at it, can uh, be considered as a place between two points. Um, so the idea of a zeroth dimension would be just a point without any lines. The central point, zero, zero, zero. You know, zero on the x, on the y, and on the z. Uh, so it's kind of a confusing geometry thing, but. Um, as I said, I've, I've explained it better in the book, <laughs> So, uh, and also Skywatch TV right now, while I have this in mind, uh, has a special deal. You can get both of my books, uh, Quantum Creation and Cherubim Chariots, at skywatchtv.com for only $29.95, which is cheaper than what you would get it directly from me. So make sure to go to skywatchtv.com and uh, take advantage of that deal. Uh, now, going back to this five-dimensional thing. So what they're talking about, when they say five-dimensional, they're including time in that. So uh, we're talking about an extra spatial dimension or the fourth spatial dimension. Um, and then one of time. So when they talk about a black hole in three dimensions, basically, uh, it's sort of like a, like a sphere. You would think of it as a sphere. It's not a two-dimensional you know, plane with a hole through it. Uh, it's, it. It's a sphere because when these stars collapse, they collapse evenly from every direction. So it collapses into a black hole, which is a sphere. So add on another spatial dimension, which does make sense because, as I discussed in my previous video, gravity uh, can traverse dimensions, spatial dimensions. So it would make sense that um, these things might exist in higher dimensions. So five-dimensional black holes 
Uh, it says that it breaks the laws of known physics, but that's known physics. That's physics that are um, just pertaining to our three dimensions of space and one of time. So of course, with that limited picture, there's going to be inconsistencies. There's going to be things that aren't explained well or don't make sense. And that might be the reason that um, quantum physics today has so many uh, problems with it in various areas, especially trying to find a quantum theory of gravity. So, uh, very interesting. And um, I'm sure some of this might be uh, over some people's heads, but that's okay. One thing that I really want to communicate is all this stuff is accessible regardless of your level of scientific knowledge or interest or anything like that. Um, it's hard to uh, properly communicate ideas like this in a short video, but uh, if you get my books, um, I promise all this stuff will make sense. After all, well, we're talking about God's creation here. You know, it doesn't need to be complicated. Uh, science in itself doesn't need to be complicated. We have access to at least the basics, um, even in a field like uh, quantum physics. So again, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and I would love to know what you think about this idea. You can uh, you can get some more information at the article from the link below. Uh, make sure to check out skywatchtv.com and subscribe to their channel as well. Uh, and go ahead and leave a comment below this video. Let us know what you think. Share this with your friends and family, all that fun stuff. Uh, so as always, thank you for bearing with me through this, and uh, thank you for watching. As always, take care, and God bless.